Hey up everybody. Today then I'm continuing me, with my tanks and the pipe work and all the associated things to do with pipe work. And I'm going to have a look at these strainers today. Now, the actual bush is soldered into the tank. Then you've got a union that fits into that bush for your pipe. Well, when I made my bushes, I made them slightly longer than, than is said on the drawing. So that I could... From the inside the tank, I was a, would be able to screw a little adapter in with a strainer on. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Then I've got this three eighth inch copper pipe. I'm going to put a, a thread on it, three eighth by thirty two thread, onto this copper pipe, and a very short adapter, so it'll screw from the inside. Okay, then I'm over on my for now. I've put this brass, sorry, it's not brass, it's copper. I've put this copper tube into the lathe and I'm not doing no turning to it as such. All I'm doing is putting a chamfer on and then parting it off once I've put the thread on. Never made any of these before, so I'm actually learning this while I'm showing you. I've cut, I've marked the size off that I need on this mesh. Uh, I want two, two at two and a half inch long and one at three and a half inch long. I've had this brass meshing on stock for quite a while so it's gone a bit uh, discoloured and it's probably got grease on it so they want thoroughly cleaning up these do before before I make them to the shape I think so that when the when I've got them to the circular tubular shape should I say I've not got to mess about cleaning the brass to get it soldered and I'm not sure if they're into coating on this brass, but I'll do my best to clean it all up before I before I solder it. I'm just using brake cleaner to degrease them. Now I've now I've uh, cleaned them up with a brass wire brush. I'll just let them dry off now. Um, and what I've thought to do in here is the inside diameter of the insert that I've made is a quarter. So I'm going to I'm going to wrap them around something that's just a bit less than a quarter because obviously they'll it'll, I'm, I'm assuming it'll spring back. So we'll have a try at this then. So I got my width by just a quarter of an inch diameter times pi which is let's say six millimeter times three is 18 millimeter so i've cut them at 20 millimeter just to give me a little overlap so that there's something to solder to well, that's my plan anyway and hopefully that will feed into that insert So 
So I'm going to try and solder that into there now. Try and solder the joint. And then when I've done that, I'll squash the end off and try and solder that. That's it then, they're all cleaned up now, jobs are good. Uh, the, the reason I've done that one a bit longer is because um, it's in a bit more awkward position to get my hand in tank to screw it in. Uh, the other two are more s simpler to get in. So, that's it, they're all soldered up now. Uh, I've done them a bit longer than it says on drawing actually, but that don't matter. Another part of jigsaw completed. I think I'll go over on to inject a water feed next on the other side on the other tank. So I'll do that in my next video then. So I'm gonna sign off for now then. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now then. <laughs>